Hello there, everybody. Michael here at the end of Nancy Drew Alibi in Ashes. Nancy has just made her way through the treacherous tunnel maze. And what does she get? Ha! I knew we were getting close. Today just keeps on getting better. The Clues Challenge Championship Medal. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we're right here at the police department so we can tell the police that Brenda is the culprit. Chief, I've got something you need to see. Nice job, Nancy. Could no longer contain the darkness inside herself. In a desperate act, she set the night sky ablaze. Perhaps we'll never know what caused Nancy Drew to strike the match that forever changed this town. But one thing is certain, River Heights will be a safer place with Nancy Drew behind bars. With a heavy heart, we must forever say goodbye to a former hero and look bravely. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Brenda Carlton, you're under arrest. No, this isn't happening. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. You don't want to mess with me. I've got dirt on all of you. I could ruin every single one of you! Yeah, that's a risk we'll have to take. Back to you, Jim. Dear Hannah, Brenda was right about one thing. Her broadcast did make it all the way to the national news. Just not exactly the way she had intended. Not the type to let a little thing like a prison sentence get in the way of her ambition. She's already started working the weather news desk at Heights Regional Correction Center. I'm sure she'll work her way to the lead anchor desk during the next 10 to 20 years. While Tony had nothing to do with the fire, she did show her true colors. As the details of the case emerged, public support for Tony fell to an all-time low. Tony quietly removed her name from the ballot, but remains behind the counter at Scoop. It'll be a while before any of us go out for ice cream again. To everyone's surprise, the time capsule survived the fire. And sure enough, when it was opened, J.P. Bennington's so-called stolen property was recovered. After decades, Alexi was finally vindicated. Dad is working on formally pardoning Alexi of all wrongdoing. For once, Alexi seems pretty happy. When I asked him if he's interested in being a detective again, he said, never again. But he did say he would be happy to help any time. Deirdre is still Deirdre. She's throwing a post-clues challenge party this weekend. Not surprisingly, Ned's been invited. And not surprisingly, Bess, George, and I have not. Not that we go anyway. The town hall is set to be demolished soon and replaced with a new museum celebrating the history of River Heights. Word is that Alexi may be asked to be head curator. Now that I've been publicly exonerated, the town has really started to show its support again. My neighbors have gotten together to repair our window, and my house is overflowing with notes of support and baked treats. For me, it's just nice to no longer be public enemy number one. As the winners of the Clues Challenge, I got to choose what to place in the time capsule. I'm pretty happy with what I chose to put in there. If you think about it, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Or you could always wait 50 years until it's reopened. Finally, I couldn't have gotten through everything without help from the best friends a girl could have. And, of course, your wonderful gift basket. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Okay, so I'm thinking about it, and I have no idea what she put inside the time capsule. And the name of the team is Team Danger. Alright, okay, so I got a lot of rewards. Um, I didn't do the emergency call, or swapping, or trying out all the ice cream, or eating a lot, but I did get most of the other rewards. Okay, so let's see a preview for the next game in the Nancy Drew series, The Lost Queen of Egypt, or whatever the title is. Halfway across the world, beyond Cairo and the ancient pyramids, a lost world rises from the shifting desert sands. 
I joined leading archaeologists to help unearth a site that some say may be the true tomb of Egypt's legendary lost queen. But once I arrive, rumors of terrifying curses fly, and stories of the site's deadly past begin to surface. It's up to me to solve an ancient riddle and find Egypt's legendary lost queen before a curse as old as the pharaohs themselves seals my fate forever. Join me in my next adventure, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Very fancy looking. Denial. It's not just a river in Egypt. Okay, so I spent a lot of money, well not that much money, $17 worth of ice cream. And these are the ending credits. These are all the people who made this game. Let's give them a round of applause. This was a great game. I thought it was fun. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see Ned. We did get to see a picture of him, but, you know, I thought Ned would be an actual character that we got to see. But you know what? That doesn't really bother me, in retrospect. I was really excited for that when the game was going to be released, but now that I've actually played the game, it doesn't bother me that it's not there. And, uh, I think that's it. You know, that's the end of Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes. Thank you very much for watching this video, everybody. Thank you very much for watching the video walkthrough. Wow, there are a lot of people who get special thanks. Okay, that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching.